just because you don't have the, perhaps the ability for that particular facet of the project, or maybe you're the wrong person for it. It could be for any one of a number of reasons. But don't beat yourself up about it too long. Which brings me to another related point. Don't be a perfectionist. For many years I tried to, to be such a person that nobody could ever find anything wrong in anything in any of my, my work projects. And I realized that I was about the only one who really felt that way. Maybe it was the setting, the government. I don't know. But I decided just to let things go a little bit more and not, and not feel so bad if I was giving something, given something to do that, that just didn't work out every time. Most of the time it did. Not always. You should reach a little bit farther when you're when you when you're given an assignment or just in general for anything in life. Reach a little bit farther than you think that you can go. That will challenge you to to accomplish more. Evaluate where you failed in the past. Look at the reasons that you failed and, and try to use that to improve yourself in the future. You have many years ahead of you. You'll be fine. Try to find people that inspire you and hang out with those people. Maybe it means you're going to have to change some of your friends. Too often people that that fail at things or complain and, and whine, they want to have the same people around them. And then they wonder why they don't accomplish anything. So, it brings me to the next item. Get out of the negativity. Surround yourself with positive people and push away those who, who would try to bring you down and tell you why you're going to fail. Speak less and listen. So, keep your ear to the, one ear to the ground. Just find reasons to be quiet for a change and let other people rattle on. Use that silence to your advantage because some people cannot stand a vacuum. They want to be talking. Anyway, of course, most of what they say probably won't help you. But it doesn't mean you have to be constantly yapping around a group. And don't overanalyze everything. You can have what is called analysis paralysis. That's where you're given so many alternatives that you just end up completely confused. You don't know what to do. Always keep learning. Learning in your, in your work, your vocation. I thought when I got out of college, well, I could skate along and I wouldn't have to learn so much. With the way technology is changing and the way things are moving, even in the government, you have to be constantly learning new things, new technology. There was really just no end to the change. Sometimes it seems it was just change for the sake of change. I don't know. That was above my pay grade. Invest some of your time in great art, music, and literature. 
patiently what they called mental health days where nobody I can't remember now if we got those days off or if it was just a a day to at, at work to kind of sit back and evaluate a lot of things this was done because I worked around a lot of military and they were under stress with deployments. Try to seek out successful people and emulate them. Try to see what it is they do and see if, if you can learn something from them. It's often better to exercise. 
You're having an important meeting. Especially if you're going to be giving a briefing and you're nervous. I found it helpful to exercise before going to the meeting. It kind of relaxed me and took away some of that, that nervous energy. so much TV. Find good things to read. Sometimes it's good on the on the weekend especially to just find a good book to just read for relaxation or even inspiration. Try to be good. Try to be the best at a few things. Instead of trying to be good, or trying to be, yeah, trying to be good at everything, because you can't be good at everything. With some things you'll be below average, some you'll be average, so find your strength and cultivate that. The last thing I'm going to say is, don't associate with losers. That sounds kind of cruel. I talked about that earlier. There are some people who just want to be part of a group of complainers, and that's all they do is complain. They don't try to make anything better. So do try to avoid those. And I hope that you will find inspiration some of these things, and I wish you the best, and I hope that you like this video. Maybe you'll subscribe.